Today's daily message continues our reflection on Fratelli Tutti, Pope Francis's most recent uh, encyclical letter. In today's passage, numbers 63 and 64 from the encyclical, Pope Francis does two things. First of all, he narrates the story of the Good Samaritan, and then he asks a question which you would expect from a Jesuit. He asks us to put ourselves into the place of one of the characters in the parable. Who are we? Which person do we represent? It's an important question and one that is worthy of our reflection. And so allow me to read Numbers 63 and 64. Jesus tells the story of a man assaulted by thieves and lying injured on the wayside. Several persons passed him by but failed to stop. These were holding important social positions, yet lacking in real concern for the common good. They would not waste a couple of minutes caring for the injured man or even in calling for help. Only one person stopped, approached the man, and cared for him personally, even spending his own money to provide for his needs. He also gave him something that in our frenetic world we cling to tightly. He gave him his time. Certainly, he had his own plans for that day, his own needs, commitments, and desires. Yet he was able to put all that aside when confronted with someone in need. Without even knowing the injured man, he saw him as deserving of his time and attention. Which of these persons do you identify with? This question, blunt as it is, is direct and incisive. Which of these characters do you resemble? We need to acknowledge that we are constantly tempted to ignore others, especially the weak. Let us admit that for all the progress we have made, we are still illiterate when it comes to accompanying, caring for, and supporting the most frail and vulnerable members of our developed societies. We have become accustomed to looking the other way, passing by, ignoring situations until they affect us directly.